She says, there's wicked potholes down by the bridge. I said, well, that's Cambridge. I said, we'll get the grades. We graded all the way to the yeah, I noticed that. Valley. Yeah. <laughs> I wish Cambridge would go over, over to that bridge and remove the windrows of gravel that are piled up under the guardrail because they keep the water from going mm -hmm. off the edges. So it runs down all the way to the end and then forms another pothole. Is there? Is it all open mm -hmm. on that one? Yeah. It is. It's open. Not, all they need is just some shovels mm -hmm. and just get rid of it. But they haven't done it for two years at least. Probably good and stuck there now, probably. I don't know. Do you know the road form in there? Eric Buzan. Eric. Yeah. Thought I might give him a call. You want his number? If you have it, sure. I do, yeah. Well, he's probably got a cell number. Well, the, I'll give you both. The garage number is 644 yep. 8843. And his cell is 363 2146. Is he a pretty good guy? He's a very good guy. Yep. Yeah, great. <clears throat> Sorry. Anybody got any adjustments? No adjustments? No public. I don't see any public here. So I'll just move right into Haven Goods Review. I sent that file there, one, right? Did. Yep. Did. Did yep. Look at. So there were three that were actually pretty close between. And usually Pike and Wickham were pretty close, and Hungerford wasn't far off this time either. Even Jan McDonald wasn't terribly far off. Um, Hutchins was a bit off price wise, but um, I guess this is now three years in a row that Wickham has been our low bidder. Again, not by a ton, but by a little bit. Um, tonnage was per ton rate is a little bit lower, and uh, the gravel shoulders piece was a bit lower. So the yeah. stock board was supposed to be meeting this Thursday, but they don't have a quorum with Dan out and not able to call in apparently. So what Brad was suggesting is quorum will be likely at the main ninth meeting. Um, so I sent a note out to the contractors just letting them know that we've reviewed tonight, make what we feel is the right recommendation for the select board um, on the May 9th meet, meeting. And then shortly after that, Brad will communicate to the contractor who's been given the award. And interestingly, we put in requests for a bid price for if they do it this year before the fall season closes up, mm -hmm. or if they do it in the spring. Mm -hmm. And with the exception of McDonald, they pretty much all said the same. It's all price adjusted. Um, but they basically said, we actually are kind of hungry for work pre July 1. So we have the option of having them this year do it during summer, fall time, more likely fall, um, depending on when you rust get to culverts there. If it didn't work out that we could get to it in time, get enough compaction, then we could put it off until the spring. And Andy wrote an email today I saw where he thought if, if the culverts had been in for a month or so <clears throat> before the paving came, that would be okay. If it was shorter than that time, it would be better to wait. Mm -hmm. So I don't know when you were. Our plan is um, is doing it after, depending on weather. But our plan is, is to do the big culvert on Lower English first, and that finish that job up there, and then um, move over to Irish. So you know. um, in the main time frame or sooner. So that should give it plenty of time. If they don't maybe come in maybe towards the end of May, yeah, first of June, probably mm -hmm. more like. Just with that's a pretty good sized job up there, and we're ditching the whole road. So you're going to do <clears throat> all culverts on Irish settlement? We're doing. Uh, we're going to do one today on the, on the end. We had an emergency one we did this winter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're on. Sorry. Oh, right. Lower English. I'm sorry. I'm, no, uh, did you say Irish? Maybe I said <laughs> Irish. I'm not, I meant English. to say Irish. Lower yeah, English. English. We, had an, we had an emergency one at the end, right by Romar Drive this winter. We're doing the next two above it tomorrow on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are good shape up through, and the, that just joins into the ones we did last year. So that road will be in good shape. And then the big one we're doing is up at the top. 
Okay. Now, how about this road? Irish? Irish. Then Irish will be doing all the culverts. I there think there's five of them, ten six, of them. Six, I think. Six. Yeah. Is, and are there any huge ones? They're all three. They're all 30 inch now, but we're going to 36. Okay. Except for the one right so by what Andy was saying? Pine Ridge. Yeah. Might be a little smaller. Might yeah. be a two footer. Okay. Evergreen, I think it and is. Bob actually. asked that we make sure that they don't do it during the school season. Uh, so that would suggest we want to have them in there before what the last week of August, uh, which if you're in there early June, that's a couple three months. On the other hand, we may be talking to a weekend in the fall. My sense is we probably want to have to do it this year rather than wait for another winter. Uh, but I don't know. Your thoughts? We give it another winter. It's not in disgusting shape. It's due, but. If we wait until spring and get ourselves into the do, new cycle of doing it in the spring. Do we have to tell them now when we want them to do it? Or can this be a flexible thing? We don't. And I don't know how flexible the paper contractors would be on this. My sense is that they'd like us to plan this year or next year. Um, and I certainly heard from, I wasn't at the mid open, but I heard from Brad that uh, when he brought up the discussion, so what's your preference? They're all like, yeah, we really like work in the spring because they do a lot of state work until they start until July 1st, and then they get real busy, which is why we don't see them yet until the fall. So when they say spring, they're talking spring 25 is when they're ready to do it. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I think it's, I don't see a reason why I could have waited. The only, the only problem I could see is if our Culver area is start you know if we pay well obviously we'd have to pave that area but if they do start causing trouble then is it going to be another bump place to catch a plow i don't know that'd be my only thought oh if that was going to happen it's better for it to happen than paid yeah yep yeah. yeah i thought i recall how trying to tell us one time that you want to do it so that it has a way to compact and then well, I mean, the yeah i mean the more time the less you're going to, I mean, the more time goes yeah. by, the less you're going to have problems if you, when you pay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say if we could wait. I don't think that road's in terrible shape. No. Not compared to segment three of Pleasant Valley. Boy, yeah. boy that's, that's really took a beating this winter. And that's one we've got to start talking about here pretty soon. You've got work to finish. Um, and we've got to make sure that happens this year. And then we've got to get the engineer work lined up around Harvey Road. Get those grades set and then get that put out the bid so that that work is done before the paving work would happen, which should work all right if we're going to do a spring paving on that. All well, that needs another winter on that stretch. What do you mean? I mean, wouldn't it all be one project? If we can get it done that way, I don't know yet that we'll be able to get a paving contractor to do the regrading. Depending on how we choose to do that. Well, if all we do is have them grind it down. All these contractors do earthwork too, but I would prefer to have them away with them. We've come pipe down at them. So either we should just combine it as one project and. Right. Makes okay. sense to me. Yeah. And if they don't, they just. They sub it. Sub it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they, they've all done work, earth work for me before, except I don't know, I prefer it, but everyone else does. How long has McDonald done paving? What a while, I think. Have they? I didn't realize that. And, and their rep used to be the guy for ST Paving, but I guess ST is no more. They were bought by McDonald, and so Paul now. Uh, oh, oh, oh okay. But Paul now works. So that's how they got into the paving, is they bought ST? Which Sounds like it. Yeah. Ah, so they weren't doing paving in the past. Uh, I didn't really deal with that or pay earth for Could be. Something I think I did pay it, but they sucked it out. Yeah. 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 yeah, we didn't get bids from ECI, Fresh Coat, Ireland. Yeah, ECI, Ireland, and Fresh Coat did not choose the bid this year. Not for SA, yeah. so. Has ECI bid in the past? They did. They were very high. Um, 
I think the very first year we put it out. It seemed like it was something that doubled that much. Yeah, I, I remember talking to him, and the guy who was the former of the bridge uh, paint work, and he said, oh yeah, we, we pay it, and he gave me the API, and I sent it over to him, and that first year they bid, and then after that we had those two years. Careful, he doesn't bite you. Really? Yeah. He turns on you pretty quick. <laughs> okay, so so we're recommending Whitcomb. Yeah, that way. I would think so. He's very straightforward based yep. on the, the bid packages and what we've gotten from. Uh, and then the other question is whether we want to have them try and get done this year or do uh, for I'd say yeah, wait. It sounds like wait for the spring. Yeah, it might work out better too, just in case things don't go well on our end for getting work done. It helps the town financially because we've only got the August taxes that have come in and when they send us the bill in September, we haven't gotten the November payments yet. So depending on where the finances are, we can get a little scam by moving it to the spring. It also helps the town have three mm. periods of uh, tax collection. So in general, it makes sense for us to ship things over. Well, let's do it then. Yeah. I mean, is that an actual choice or is it kind of up to them if you want the job? Um, from what Brad said, they all were under the impression that we were going to tell them this one or that one. And so okay. we'll go with that. Uh, we'll get in touch with Tyler and talk to him about uh, doing it for the spring. And if that's the path we're trying to get onto, and unless he box, then I would say that's how we go. Okay. Good. What does Tyler have to do with the paper? Tyler with all. Okay. A lot. <laughs> Plus he lives in town, right? Yes. Yep. You know the school up here where the new rec path went around the ball field yeah. now? He donated every bit of that material. Oh, is that right? Right, so, so for the last year of a three-year contract that we put out back in 2021, um, Fresh Coat um, is the one who's been doing it the past two years, so we just need to let them know what the priorities are for that. My sense would be we pick up the two pieces of Pleasant Valley um, that have been paid the last two times um, for the Cambridge line back. Yeah. Um, maybe we grab River, River Road and notice it's continued, continuing to devolve yeah. um, on the other. The edges are getting edges. bad some places. So hang, hanging in, keeping that tight as we can until we get that paved, which is next year would be Pleasant Valley 3, and then the following year is when we go over and mm. pick off River Road. So I think one more year of practicing on that probably is a good thing to do. Got all the side roads, range, fair, St. Hill, and so, so forth. Whether we'll get through all that, I'm not sure. But. Well, certainly those two most recent pieces of Pleasant Valley make sense to me. Yep. I, don't, I don't have a sense of how far or how much they'll do for the money we have available. But Yeah, they basically do five days worth until they run out of material. Mm -hmm. Well, if they did those two pieces of Pleasant Valley and still had some time and material left, yeah, they, where they would we send a river, you think? River Road, I think, is what you were just saying, right? Yeah, that, that obviously gets more traffic from the side roads. Mm. What I don't recall is if we did all those side roads last year, let's go back and take a look at them. I went to look and see if I had it in my records, and for some reason I don't have them. A note to Brad as to this is a priority list. So I can ask him if he has something on that. But okay. uh, it wouldn't hurt to do the side roads that we did in 22, the Sand Hill Range, Beartown, uh, Stevensville, and whatnot, just to give him a second round of it. They kind of tell you the first couple of years is when you want to hit the crack ceiling. Don't wait for it to get like it is on a section above New Road. Even the next section beyond that is getting pretty bad in places. 
we may have to reconsider the timing for paving that too. I'm afraid to say that when I drive River Road, I pay more attention to the broken edges than I do thinking about cracks. And I don't really have much of a sense as to whether there's a fair amount of crack sealing to be done there or not. And what Fresco tell me was if you're <clears> driving, <throat> you really can't tell. You almost have to be walking it or going at a very slow way in order to see what's really cracking up. Mm. Uh, yeah, you see the, the big stuff, but if you're driving along at 30 miles an hour faster, you see. Which so I tried that. Which makes it hard to even plan what rows to do. Right? Until well, you actually walk in it with like with their machine and it's Well what they tell you is after you fresh paved, give it a winner, hit it the next year, yeah. the next year, that's what the research Yeah, that makes sense. Don't wait until it's really busted like that. Start fresh. So what are we gonna do then? We'll head, head them for the two pieces of Pleasant Valley, and then we'll research whether the the next step would be the side roads or river road. Yeah, we think we'll do what the okay. side roads look like and see if they're holding up pretty well, or if they look like we should. Probably rather do river road than Stephensville. <laughs> Walking up that hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. Come on. Not me. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I think you and I did this. Last year, the year before, where we drove very slowly and then occasionally get out, stopped, and looked. And yeah, I remember doing that. That gave us a pretty good sense. Might have been three years ago. But, yeah. Time flies, you know? Yeah. Uh, next one, Bridge 8. I put that on because it's been a few years. That girder on the downstream side of the river got pretty badly corroded when. Uh, the bench routed off, then we had to end up replacing that whole outer concrete deck section. Bridge 8, it was which one? Oh, right here. Between, yeah, it's cool. Uh, we had at the time when ECI did that project, they given us a quote of like $25,000, $30,000 to paint that. And we were all kind of like, yeah, it seems like a lot of money to paint that girder. And then we did some more research and found out there's greasing that can be done and other things. And I'm just wondering if we shouldn't go back and revisit that rather than leave it in the state that it's in. That bridge is in great shape now, with the mm -hmm. exception of the outer side of that one beam. My sense is we probably ought to go poke at that again. So to paint it, or even to maybe not to grease it, I'm not familiar with that, but you'd have to sandblast it clean, right? I think so. And that means scale. netting or Catching something all to capture all the... I think that was a big part of the price. That was a big deal. Yeah. yeah. And, and the 25000 was probably pretty price at the time, and we just were kind of barking because we had 100000 laid out for that project based on what ECI told us, and then the price went up to almost double that. And so it was kind of getting beyond the budget. So we ended up settling not to do that, but I think we ought to come back to it. Well, I do remember from then, from that time frame, it was rusty, all right. Yep, very. And it yeah, can't it be any is, better now. It is thick scale. Yeah, yeah it certainly hasn't improved because we haven't done anything to it. Well, I don't know if you guys know of any outfits that are. I don't. No. Don't do it. Uh, well, would Cricket have any handle on that? She might. That's a good question for her to figure out this one. Tyler may know some companies that do that type of stuff too. We can ask him if he has a list of places we ought to consider. We can go back to ECI and ask them if they're interested in doing just that or if they were willing to do it as package deal, but maybe not so much on a small yep. project. I can't remember the guy's name that we worked with at ECI. He was a pretty decent fellow. Yep, he was. I don't know if he's even still there. But... Yeah, he is. Is he? I talked to him last year. He was. So you have his name someplace. I do. Yeah. I probably do too. And here. Ben McKinney. Pardon me. Ben McKinney. Oh yeah, Ben. That's right. Yeah. And he probably wouldn't be the guy for that. Oh, it might be. Well, he could he put knows. us in touch with the right. Yeah. And if, 
if he doesn't do it, he might know some other companies do it. So I can ask that as well. You want me to contact Cricket or Tyler, or you want to just take them all three? Uh, I'll send another episode through. Okay. Uh, just saying, we're interested in picking up on that again and getting that squared away. At least find out what it costs, you know? Yep. I mean, it may be so astronomical by now, it will say, let it rest some more. Yeah, or the alternative is you can grease it and do other things to it, but my understanding of that is that's good for five years, maybe 10 at the most, and then you're back at it. Whereas if you get it painted and done properly, then right. That's a budget, it's going to be a budget item too, right? Is that going to be a budgeted item? It would be. Why not? It would be capital. Right, but still it'd have to be yeah, added into the yeah, bridges. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, twenty five thousand three, four years ago. That's pre inflation you know, so it wouldn't be surprised if it's up in the forty plus range nowadays. Neither would I. It's mm. unbelievable what everything's costing. Yep. Oh. I'd rather not recommend they who take it out of reserves and try to build them back up, so so that would go into the budget for next year then yeah. or, or the year after yeah. or something. Yeah. Okay. So if this year we work on getting information on companies who would be willing to do it and get an estimate from at least one of them and that could get us going. Good. I kept the meeting short because I wasn't sure I'd be here and I know I've got a busy two weeks in front of me, so yeah, early supper. I like it. Yeah, don't we have anything else? Get together next month. Sounds good. All right. Short and sweet. All right.